here is a case of perforation during supine PCNL. What is the reason how to avoid it? 43 years female patient complaining of right loin pain two weeks back. CTKVB 7.1 into 5 point. It is a small stone in fact. A little dilated system. And uh, we have uh, tried to do ultrasound guided puncture and uh, remove the stone. The reason why RIRS is not done is the ureter was very tight. Patient wants to go to abroad within 14 days. So with the ultrasound guidance we have taken the access. This is the needle you can see. Then we injected the contrast and it is nicely in the periphery of the system and uh, it's a PUJ impacted stone nicely coiled in the PUJ here I was using micro perk ultra mini perk the main this is the thing this caused the perforation especially it happens with metal rod for me I did not do uh, dilatations very well when I went straight away I have seen the fat I was worried but it was on the medial aspect just above the PUJ. In supine PCNL it can injure the vessels also. After that stone is seen. We have taken care that this metal dilator ampla sheets uh, are better over the cobra catheter in such cases. Actually this is a small stone upper ureter. Unfortunate that time is not there otherwise I might have stented this patient and dealt this stone in short time in RIRS or URSL. Sometimes PCNL is invasive especially when you are doing for small stones. However, these stones should not migrate into the small perforated area. So I kept the mouth of the sheath exactly at the entrance of the stone and removed all the stones carefully. When the patient comes for a small stone, we should not injure the ureter with the laser. We should ensure, you should ensure that you cross the area of the stone perfectly. You should ensure that the stent is properly in position. The stent should be preferably upper calyx or the calyx which we have punctured. See this is a perforation just above the pelvis. It looks big in uh, uh, in endovision see this is a fat outside and there is no point meddling if any small stone is there if you can pick out okay otherwise better not to meddle it will be there see the stent I purposefully kept a lateral aspect I injected contrast completely it is normal except this leak once the leak is documented you can keep the stent for three to four weeks and uh, remove it afterwards but in this case we are supposed to remove on two weeks with a little risk However, these uh, if the obstruction is not there distally, they should not cause any problem. In PCNL supine, when you are doing dilatation with a rod, either alkane rod or the metal rods, better to do control slowly than a single step and if preferably keep an hand and slowly right side control movement should be done on a thick guide wire, then this can be avoided. Thank you.